What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This is a tutorial video on how to add labor automatically. Uh, the whole idea of it is basically saving you time. Let's see how that works. We have an estimator here. So assume that you type, let's say, brake pads and let's say front and your cost. And if you want to add just parts, just click on it and it adds just parts. But if you want to add parts and labor at the same time, let's do it again. 95 if you click and hold for one second and it's gonna add parts and labor the whole idea Why do I have to type the labor if I can do it like that? Obviously, it's not gonna put the hours You just gotta click on that and it's gonna check your database See if you've done that job before for that vehicle and it's gonna give you the accurate the accurate um, uh, Labor guide if not then just add it So that's one way what about from parts catalog from parts catalog? Again, same thing, if you click on hold, it's gonna say add labor. If you just click it, it's gonna add, just transfer the labor. So let's check this out with a click on hold. And let's just go to AutoZone. And let's just say starter and alternator. So it will add labor like um, for multiple things or starter and end that belt so if you quote and transfer so notice it's gonna it's gonna say the alternator the starter and the labor for both of them if you have to move them you can move them around but yes so it will do that it will do that for all of them including repair link next part if you forget to click and hold you still can do that so if you go to next part let's say I did not click on hold now let's go to A and J right here and let's get a tie rod and let's say I want this one you still can look up the labor if it's there obviously um, and then just uh, click if you click on hold on transfer card it will do the same thing too so you see it right there, added the labor, and again, let's say we already saw that, so 1.5 for that. So yeah, you can do that. Um, but the last one is the coolest one. What if, what if I went to AutoZone and let's transfer something, let's say, radiator and click add what if you know I forgot to click on hold and now I only have radiator do I have to type the labor no you don't have to all you have to do is click on hold on add again and VIP will check automatically see if the last entry was a port check this out yes insanity based on last entry yes that is sick that is pretty cool <laughs> um let me let me demonstrate this again um, let's let's just add something right there let's say break booster 169 and just let's just leave this estimate and then just go back and click on hold that's it so that's it the whole idea like I said is is saving you time and checking your own the other cool thing about it is checking your own labor guide because the labor guide out there is not accurate they never you, they never add the time for bringing the cart and using your tools and putting the, the, the cart and the tools away that's part of it you know then you know these you know companies like Mitchell one or or, or what is that motor they don't understand this stuff they've never been a mechanic they don't understand that it will take 15 minutes to bring the car in and take the parts and, and put it back and clean it up that takes who, who's paying for that time so you gotta remember that another thing the most important thing rusted versus not rusted huge difference if i need to bring in the torch to heat something up who's counting this time you think motor doesn't know that they don't they don't even understand what is that is so same thing with uh, another thing is 
uh, when they do like the labor guide, right? They don't bring like the, the same engine being installed in multiple vehicles. Some have more room, some have less room. And I did ask one time, I said, how are you doing this? The labor guide. And they said, you know, we'll bring one vehicle. I was like, what about the other one? It's like, we can't do that. Exactly. So basically your labor guide is an idea. Most of the time is wrong. So be careful out there. Otherwise, if you're not making money, if you're following the labor guide and you're not making money, which is I know you're not making money, that means you need to adjust and fix that. You gotta have your own labor guide. You can get an idea of what it is, but you gotta add your own, add to it, to be able to survive. Nobody's paying you for bringing the cart in and put it back. Make sure you get paid for that. Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching.